situation is. I'm off hanging out the bloody shit out the top. Hello, out of the Peak District today. But uh, just by Blue John Caverns. We're going for a wild camp tonight over at Winnets Pass. But for uh, for the for the time being, we're just going to go for a little walk um, down the old Mantor Road. Uh, so we're going to go down the road, up across the ridge, and then up Mantor. Cross, you can't see it now. Back down a big loop, back to the car, pick our bags up, and then uh, and then head over to Winnets Pass. I'm not sure. So this road here, where we are now, I'm not sure of the history. I'm not sure of the history. But this road, so if you can see it or not, this was a road originally. I'll try and find a bit of history on it in a bit. But the road collapsed many, many years ago, and then uh, I'm not sure how well that's going out on camera. Yeah, so they've closed the road off. You can obviously still walk it. Yeah, so yeah, stick around if you want to see a bit of wild camping again. Yeah, look, I mean, look at this road. Oh, look at this. Still got the still got the markings on from where it used to be a proper road. So literally where I am now, I would have been, well, look at that. <laughs> Still pretty solid. And I, I, I'm not too sure, I assume it goes down there and around. Because there's cars down there, as you can see them. Well, there's another gate there, which is closing it off, so I assume. Ah, I wonder if you used to be able to get down to Winnets Pass. Yeah, isn't it? The end of the road. Literally. I've just been stood. I've just been stood up there. See where the road is. It's just literally just disappeared. See the road, the road markings again. It's crazy. Okay, there we go. So we're just on the worst of it. So we come from up there, just on the worst of it, round to here. So obviously this is still. I'm not sure about your local roads, but this looks like our local roads anyway. Another gate down here. And like I say, gate further down there somewhere, so it does, yeah. But we are heading up there somewhere, so if you can see the people. Okay, so the route, the route we've planned on Kamut is through here and up here. And again, I'm not sure if the camera picks it up very well, but it looks an absolute mess. So one of us is going on our arse. Hopefully it's not me. Kind of thinking more. Oh, there we go. Who is it usually? Yeah, it's definitely usually me. <laughs> Doing well so far, not to not to be on our ass. Can't even want to come back down this bit. Hey? I don't want to come back down this bit. No, nah, it's not. Yeah, it's definitely not down this bit. It's a lot easier than this. 
What are we doing? All right, we're just, uh, I've no idea what we've done. Caught the side of there. So the car is, in fact, you can actually see the car. I can anyway. There, maybe? We walk down the old road, up the side of this. And then, up there's Nam Tor. So we're gonna head now, back in a big loop round to the car. Two sides of a coin. Green down there. White down there. There, just fell over. I knew it was gonna happen to someone. I bet you can't stop me. Yet. Here's the rain. Oh, brief back on. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Oh. <laughs> it's moving up here. You missed it. You missed it. One. Just as you started McGraw, mate. Eh? Just as you were. <laughs> just as Can you take it for me? Yeah, take the time I've got that one. I'm going. Three. Hoi. Three, two, one. Oh. Sit down at the top. Oh, look at the cloud wave coming in now. It's lovely over there. Look at this cloud coming in. Yeah. You can literally see it coming in. I don't know. One of us is definitely going on our arse here. <laughs> to be honest, it's higher up here than it is over there, so... Cloud. It's crazy how it just changes so quick. Again, so where are we camping tonight? Somewhere over there, somewhere. Can't quite think where it is, that way somewhere. It's impossible. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna manifest it. I'm not gonna slip. So I'm not sure if you watched last week's video, but I tried out those foil bags for the first time. Um, but I'm trying them out again tonight. Oh, I've got something different tonight. Got a curry, chicken tikka masala, and some rice, um, just some microwave meals. Just gonna boil the bags, and hopefully I don't kill myself. However, you'll soon know if I kill myself. This video, if you see this video, you know I haven't. Oh my god. Oh, that sunk. Oh my god, I nearly went. Oh my goodness me. Yep, I just I turned the camera around. I'll go in. <laughs> you slipped yet? <laughs> what? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can you have the green stuff? Oh, 
That's it then, we've done Nam tour. Just knit back to the car, picked up our bags. Feels like we've got everything, including the kitchen sink. We're gonna go over to the Winnix Pass. There you go. They say this road's starting to collapse as well. This is the same road, but they've, where the gate was is where they closed it off due to the collapse. So, only gone the wrong way. We've missed the turning, we're under the one when it's passed actually on the road, so we've got to try and get up there somehow and then up the top, which is going to be interesting. So stupid. Well, it's definitely an interesting way to come. Famous when it's pass. Let me just show you this for you guys. Look at that. And then look at that. <laughs> so where we're camping is. Oh yeah, I can even get in there, my bivy. This is the viewpoint. I'm going to go bivy on here, looking out to that. Yeah, so as you can see, there's by the time I've got my tarp out in this sort of tent formation of a tarp, there's very, very little room at the front for me to, well, get out before I drop down a cliff. So I decided, uh, after a few adjustments, that this definitely wasn't the, the correct pitch. Have you ever just looked at yourself and thought, right. what am I doing with my life? Oh my God. So if you have, then you'll know exactly how I feel right now. I could be at home now. With the heating on. Nice, warm, cosy bed. Oh, all the way I'm sweating. So the setup is British Army, bivy bag. Uh, British Army sleeping bag inside uh, and just a tent, uh, well a tarp I mean just purely just a tarp and then I mean yeah it makes it up for that view though doesn't it I mean that's the view yeah so as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by the GoPro going flat there's not many people about this side of the valley. Um, and it's due to, I've just had a quick look at the weather and there's an 80% chance at four o'clock um, it's gonna snow again. So it's good to get set up before that comes. Uh, that's it, just gonna have a chill, have a non-alcoholic beer. Good these are, just tastes like normal beer. One thing I've been meaning to check, and I've been worried about this, is that me oil bag curry, rice, 
hopefully haven't leaked. Curry, sorry, that first one was the rice. That's the fitting on, and that's it. Some sweet for later on, and this is camp. The ground's very, very hard, so I have to borrow a couple of rocks. Let's keep the top down. It's not very pretty, but it is what it is. And like I say, from there, that's the view. Right, so this tent is going to be better ready. We've got for tea tonight, Matthew. Steak and spicy beans and pasta. That's got steak and a bit of spicy beans and pasta. Fillet steak. Fillet steak, he says. Posh. But yeah, to be fair, we do quite well to have the place to ourselves. There's a few people the other side of the valley, which is unusual for this side to be honest. Uh, we did see one bloke we were walking up here, but we carried on. So yeah. That's up there. When it's past the road. If you've never been here, guys, and you're your local or you're not too far away from an hour and a half or more, I highly recommend it. If you're in, that's okay. If you're not, you're not. So, these videos. Just show you the view from a different perspective. Oh. Where Matt was stood. I actually bought some gaiters with me today, although, to be fair, the waterproof trousers have took the brunt. So the gators are still clean. Boots have obviously took it. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying these videos, guys. You know, I can keep saying the more you like the videos and subscribe and everything else, I'm kind of hoping the content will get better. And the summer's only around the corner. So, although, to be fair, you probably appreciate these videos more, watching people suffer. Yeah. What am I doing? Okay. It's freezing. It's about 20 past five. Just getting some dinner on. No idea if it's going to be any good or not. We shall see. Yeah. yeah. So drone keeps going over. They don't know if it's and they'll know if it's the warden. Do you have wardens up on when it's pass? Or is it just people messing around down the bottom? I assume it's just someone. It was just someone parked up in the car park down there. Curry, chicken is your bolty, bubbling away. Got some some sweets and some chocolate fingers for later on. Um, to be honest, yeah, it's cold. I can't see us lasting long in the uh, out here. To be honest, probably have dinner. 
get ready for bed and just downloaded a couple of podcasts just listen to them to be honest oh i think it's time give this a go see what we're saying I kind of wish I'd put me in one bag now because oh, feels hot enough. What's this one? That's the curry. Yes, boiling that is. This has got to be the rice. Imagine if it wasn't the rice. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think what I'm going to do is stick it all in one. So this is just chicken tikka masala, microwave meal from Mazda. Cooked in the boil in the bag for, to be honest, I've no idea how long, about 10 minutes, I guess. Cheers, guys. Whatever you're having for tea tonight. Hope you enjoy it. We've even got one more beer to wash it down with. A little bit of little bit of mud, mud on there. Ooh. So the lights are starting to slowly come on down into down in the village. Cheers. As it gets dark, like I said before, we're just going to eat this. Oh, sorry, my nose is running. I'm just going to eat this and then probably retreat to bed. Do a few star jumps first. Mm. Oh, it's really good, that is. I am impressed with these bags. Like I say, just an Amazon special. I know some people heat seal them rather with uh, some straighteners or an iron. I didn't, to be honest. I ran the risk and it paid off, to be fair. Actually quite surprised there's no one else up here although I guess that tells a story in itself doesn't it who the hell would come out here in the conditions like it is tonight although to be fair it's now quarter to six due to uh, I said 80% chance it was going to snow and stuff from 4 o'clock we've had nothing to be honest but as we all know the weather can change in a heartbeat up here like I say just missing some nan bread <coughs> which I did, I did pick up but I didn't bring a frying pan or anything so it's burning Matt that's burning his steak. Ah. And his fingers. Look at that. Cheers. There's a couple of people over the far side. Um, so the sun sets behind where we are. 
So there's a couple of people going over the valley, well, over the other side of the valley, on the, over the other peak over there. Um, they've been watching the sunset. <coughs> no doubt there'll be people here in the morning watching the sunrise because it's a glorious sunrise. Hopefully I can get that for you. Putting some dry clothes on. Long johns. Can't beat them. If you can put them on. I'm ready. Try and climb in here. Looking forward to this bit at least. I've got to get my body in here. Whilst ideally keeping everything clean. One leg. Two legs. <sighs> Not sure what you can and what you can't see. There we go. So I'm in the sleeping bag, I think. I'm in the baby bag, definitely. I think I'm in the sleeping bag. Yeah, I am. It's, uh, it's only quarter to seven, but it's pretty chilly out there. Uh, like I say, I'm just gonna sit here, well, lie here, eat some sweets, listen to a podcast or two, drop off about nine. I'll uh, see you in the morning if nothing else happens. I just realised that the pillow had fell on the floor out there somewhere. Oh, I've the bivvy. Bit of absolute nightmare this is. And the problem with that was then I put the pillow in the sleeping bag. I can't quite see it. What the bloody hell's Look at the state of that. So now I'm trying to a bit of a clean up. Oh, this is just ridiculous, man. What am I doing in my life? <sighs> I'm sleeping that. Yes, it's only nine o'clock. Oh, man. It's going to be a long night. It's going to be a long night. Stately pillar soaked and filthy. Great. This British Army one's brilliant, however, it's just sort of it's not got a zip. It just you have to, you have to get in here and cinch it up here, you end up coming out of it. Try and cinch it up. The situation is, I'm off hanging out the bloody shit at the top. Sleeping bag's half hanging out the baby. Oh man. Oh. <clears throat> the wind has just picked up. I'm stuff up the baby bag. Oh, I was just... What the freaking hell's happened here? 
the leg of the top. Or the leg holding this up, I mean. Let's come down. Uh, to be honest, I don't dislike it. Me billy bag. Oh, sit rep. Whether this video even sees YouTube, I do not know to be honest because I know the comments have just rinse me. Um, tarps fell down, sleeping bag keeps falling out the bivy. Wind is anything. Yeah, it keeps, yeah, it keeps falling off. <sighs> yeah. So the tarps fell down. Keep falling out the keep falling out the bivy, so I'm kind of cinching it up as best as I can. On the plus side, Matthew's snoring his head off. So he's getting a good night's sleep. It's now 12 o'clock. I have slept, to be honest. I've slept for a slept on and off for ages. Oh, uh, my air mat has popped, so I'm, I'm literally lying on the floor. Uh, I'm not sure if you can hear that wind. Like I say, I'm not sure if this video is even going to go on because I know what it'll be like. Anyway. Peace out. Right, and guys, current situation is it's half past five. I've just stuck the pole back up to try and get the uh, top off me. I'm basically outside. It's frozen. Top's frozen inside. However, I'm nice and dry inside. I'm nice and dry inside. My sleeping bag. What a stupid idea. Anyway, I'm going to get up, have a coffee, and then, uh, yeah. Okay, so. Uh, I just found out, I told you in the middle of the night that my me, me, uh, me air mat had blown. Popped and popped. It hasn't popped at all. It was just uh... It was on top of me. Oh. So yeah. Not gonna lie, if it was easy, everyone would do it, eh, Rob? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> did you sleep well? Yeah, I slept alright, to be fair. I did wake up a few times. Just uncomfortableness. The frost on that. I slept well until the top came down on me, anyway. Your erection let you down, Rob. That's our view in the morning. Hopefully the fog clears. Not getting much of a view this morning, but... Uh, whoa, whoa. People starting to arrive. Perfect timing as I packed away. Just as I'm packing away, clouds start dropping. And you can see the tops of Mount Tor, um, Mount Tor over there. Zoom in on there, aren't I? Look at the ice on the top.
Jesus. Right. <coughs> Camp. This is his camp. I see any poles, any rubbish, everything else. It's gone. Whew. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one.